Hey guys, it's Mo here. I just wanted to say thank you for the feedback for our last video. We truly appreciate it. Uh, first of all, I'd also like to say that um, this would not contain any spoilers. All the footage that you see is from the first few hours of the game. Um, Spider-Man for the PS4 is absolutely amazing and it's definitely a marvel to behold. I will save you the suspense. Um, it's absolutely a game you should go out and buy if you're a PS4 owner. Spider-Man isn't an origin story, thank God, as it assumes you already know about the start of Peter's abilities. We had enough comics, movies, and TV shows that drove that home, and I think it's smart for Insomniac to leave that at the door. Instead, this Peter is very mature and has been doing it for quite some time. Boosting some great performances, the cutscenes are delivered very well, and the story unravels in a satisfying way. The game starts off with a very impressive sequence that starts a fight for the crown of top villain. I'm being intentionally vague here, as I don't want to spoil anything, but the story does complement the essence of who Spider-Man is. You'll have to balance your double life as Peter Parker and Spider-Man. The gameplay is nothing short of brilliant. You truly feel like a superhero as you swing through the air effortlessly and take out enemies in style. Insomniac deserves praise for creating a system that is simplistic but also has depth. Swinging through Manhattan becomes second nature as well as the combat despite having so many different options to choose from. The combat is similar to the Batman series but I always call it the Rise of Honor system as it's a combat system remember from the Jet League game Rise of Honor. You'll eventually get new gadgets and suits with different abilities to make things more interesting but never does the combat feel like it's so deep that it makes you trip on your own feet. It remains very intuitive as new enemy types come in and makes you use the techniques that you learn throughout the game. I'm from New York City and it's a blast just swinging around seeing places you're familiar with. The rendition of NYC is amazing here. It truly feels like you're Spider-Man. Although I believe this is the best Spider-Man game ever made, there are some things I disliked about it. Spider-Man falls prey to the traditional open world formula popularized by Ubisoft. You'll have to climb up buildings and repair radio towers that ultimately unlocks more of your map. The side activities after a while do repeat themselves and of course there are collectibles that appear for you to go grab. All in all, this is the best Spider-Man game in my opinion that's ever been made and it's insane fun. Topped with a nice story, great acting, and brilliant gameplay, Spider-Man is another successful outing for Sony and I look forward to what Somniac is going to do with the franchise in the future. That's crazy. I still wish you and MJ could work things out. She's a great girl. She is, but... The two of you would make some beautiful wow. baby. Uh... Peter, 